Hi, good afternoon and welcome back. We've already seen in a previous flyby that effective dating in Siebel Public Sector 8.2.2 enables the end user to visualize contact history for fields or link history for child business components and that new user interface items such as pop-up windows enable field-based effective dates to be visualized. In this final part of our flyby series we will consider the, the requirement to extend effective dating to a new business component, specifically in this demonstration, to the account business component. For example, where a government agency must track uh, businesses' accounts. The full procedure is outlined in the Siebel bookshelf, and this flyby does not attempt to show you the details of every single step. In order to create effective dating, several changes must be made in Siebel tools. We'll, we'll begin by studying the changes required on the data level. Consider the case of account business component. The account business component is a party business component, and therefore its base table is S party. However, in the manner of all party business components, the majority of the business data are stored in extension tables. In this case, s underscore org underscore ext. Changes must be made to this table. Specifically, specifically, changes must be made to this table related to effective dating. In addition, a new table must be created, and this table has a specific structure including columns whose values are defined clearly in the bookshelf. This table is the support mechanism for effective dating for the account business. As well as data level changes, there will be business component level changes, both on the original business component account, and there will be a new account history business component. This account history business component will be based upon our new extension effective dating table. The, the single value fields will be created according to the details in the Siebel bookshelf. In addition to business component, there will be changes made at the business level on the link object. Specifically, a link will be created between the business component and the new history business component. The account business object will also be updated to include a reference to the account history business component through the link that has been created. Finally, on the user interface level, the account field ED pop-up applet will be created according to the instructions in the Siebel bookshelf. This applet will be popped up when the user clicks the effective dating icon in an active effective dated field in the account business component. Further changes will be required in the original business component, in this case account through the form of business component user props. Several user properties will be required to identify the effective dating business component, the pop-up applet to be displayed, and a control expression to indicate that effective dating should not apply when a new record is created. There will be the same number of control expressions as there are required fields for the end user to enter. Once all of the steps detailed in the bookshelf have been completed, in Siebel Public Sector, reaching for the sitemap administration effective dating the account business component will now be available from the pick list in addition I will be able to choose fields from the account business component to apply effective dating upon clicking clear cache I can now move to the screen tab for accounts and you will notice immediately that the effective dating icon is now displayed in the name field. When I click the icon, the effective dating pop-up applet for the account history business component is now displayed. In the case of a business requirement, display an additional view with the history information. A new applet will be created based on the history business component according to the information in the Siebel bookshelf and that applet 
will be implemented as part of a new view which will contain two web template items a standard account entry applet and our new history list applet. This view will need to be placed in a screen and will then need to be administered using responsibilities as normal. When implemented the view will be displayed as a separate view tab in the accounts screen and will display the history of changes to any field for which effective dating has been enabled. Upon making a change, the user can either click to see the change or can refresh the account history view to observe the change. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and see you soon.